Hey guys, okay, so, <laughs> and if you're wondering, like, is she wearing the same shirt? Yeah, yeah, I am. I had to do a ton of videos in one day to pre-film because I've been just so crazy busy and like if I don't do it when I'm feeling good and have the time, it just don't get done, okay? Now, um, today we're gonna talk about hair, okay? I did my hair today, which is probably why I have to do this hair video today because my hair actually looks decent. <laughs> I don't do my hair very often. Um, it just seems it just takes so much time. And um, oh, it's just, I don't know. There's just something about doing my hair that is just so like, oh, I don't want to do it. Like I'll do anything else, but not my hair, okay? All right, so I've got a couple of products that I want to talk about today. And some of these have to do with gray hair, but some of them are just hair in general, hair care in general, okay? So let's talk about the um, purple shampoos that I like, okay? My favorite one has been the Hask, H-A-S-K, brand um purple shampoo and i never really tried the conditioner because um it doesn't really like i feel like purple conditioners don't do anything um it's not really going to be on your hair for very long and, and they're very slippery so they're not meant to soak into the hair so anyway i prefer a purple shampoo for actually toning my my gray hair so um but the husk brand was the least expensive i don't know if it's the least expensive but it was a, a good budget uh purple shampoo smelled really nice worked really good made my hair feel really really nice um and I'm going to talk about uh some of these other products that I have that uh, just don't make my hair feel nice and so that's sort of a bummer so all right um so that one has was my favorite and it was available for a long time for me at my Walmart stores it is not available in my Walmart stores anymore I don't know if it's discontinued or what I'll try and put that in the description I'll look it up or whatever I have a feeling you can probably still get it on Amazon um if you're looking for a budget but one that is actually really good like a good shampoo and i got i used husk brand um like other types of shampoos and conditioners and even on my girls my um, younger girls and it's just the it just has made a difference for how their hair feels it's it's softer less tangly that kind of stuff so i do like the husk brand as a whole so all right so the next one I've got is this Not Your Mother's a Blonde Moment Purple Treatment Shampoo. Do not like this one. It makes my hair feel sticky and crusty. Like it just feels like there's something on my hair. It doesn't make it feel smooth and like just nice. No, it feels like there's a buildup. Like I don't know if there is a buildup, but it just feels like that. So I don't like the way this makes my hair feel. Now, is it purple? Yep, purple. Will it perform the job for which a purple shampoo is made? Yes, probably. I, I feel like this is the same sort of tone um, as the um, Hosk one. Um, let me just smell it. It's got a decent smell. Um, I just don't like the way it makes my hair feel, so I do not like this one. And this is kind of on the pricey side as well. I feel like this one was one of the more pricey ones that I've tried, so I'm not a fan of this one. Is it, I don't think it's terrible and I don't want to, you know, like whatever, but I just didn't like it, so that's that. Next one, this one is the, now these have been in my shower, so, you know, forgive the look of the bottles. They're pretty um, beat up looking. So this is the Aussie Beat the Breast Purple Shampoo. Um, shampoo. <laughs> okay, so it says, this says Beat the Breast, like you can't see it because it's all washed off. But um, this one, the shade of it is a bit warmer. Um, let me see if I get a little bit of it out. Um, it's gonna take forever. So this one was fine, and I liked this. Oh, I really, mm, I really like the smell of it. Um, oh, it smells so good. Um, but the shade of it is almost a little bit warmer than the more, more uh, bluish purpley tone as this. And also, like, you see how like you see that like yeah, it's like it's it's got a warmer tone than um the other purple shampoos that i like which is that's not what i'm looking for i want it to be more on the blue side so that it will um uh counteract all that brass okay so um yeah and it's very like gel like now the other ones are gel like but they have almost like a shimmer in them so um it's uh it provides a little bit of shine on your hair as well. So um, this one also did kind of make my hair a little bit um, sticky, crusty feeling. So that's another thing that I didn't like about this. But smell, oh, it smells so good. I just really love the smell of this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this was not a favorite. It was inexpensive though. And um, I don't know that I like hated it, but like, 
you know, I'm, I'm dispensing it into my hand to try and wash my hair. And I'm like, oh, this is too, this is too warm. That's not what I'm looking for. So yeah, didn't like, didn't love that one. Okay. This one, very nice. This is the Amica Bust Your Brass um, Cool Blonde Repair Shampoo. Okay. I, this is just a, a sample that I got from like a Sephora order that I did, but both of these were so nice. It's the shampoo and the conditioner, but the shampoo is just so nice. It smelled really good as well. Like it was very, I'm um, really like very pigmented purple, but not too bad. It was really very similar to the husk, but it just made my hair feel so soft and like smooth. It wasn't catching and gripping and feeling like there's gunk on your hair. No, this one was really nice as well. It's a little bit more pricey. This might actually, this one might be the priciest one, but I didn't purchase like a bottle of it. I just got the sample size. So I want to say this shampoo is about 20 bucks. So that this is probably the priciest one, honestly. Um, but yeah, so, but this one is good and I can't take that away from it. So if I had to choose, um, you know, a higher end. This one's really nice. Okay. Um, and the next one for a purple shampoo is the LV, the L'Oreal LV Color Vibrancy Purple Shampoo Anti-Brassiness for highlighted brunette blonde and gray hair. So yes, the, um, this is nice. Smells good. Um, it's not my favorite smell, but it does smell good. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this is that it's very deep. So if you use this and you have like, I've got silver and gray, if you use this, your hair is going to turn out sort of duller because it'll, it'll counteract the brass, but you it'll be, it'll, it's almost like it's making, it'll make your hair darker. So I would say like use a tiny amount and then like every so often, like you couldn't wear, use this like every day or even every other day, your hair will turn dark gray. And if that's not, if that's what you're looking for, good. I want silver. I want shining, bright, almost like white silver hair for my silver silver um, patches. Like here, very silver, but here, very like gray. See what I'm saying? So I've got like all these naturally highlighted hair and um, I want the silver to look way silver and then the gray just to not look yellow. So, um, but this is very dark. So that's something you have to think about as well when you're choosing a purple shampoo. Last one I've got for purple shampoos is the L'Oreal Le Color Gloss, and it is comes in a box like this. One Step Toning Gloss, okay? This is ba basically like a very deep conditioner that provides like a gloss to your hair. And I don't know that this like is like providing like this insane gloss when I get out of the, the shower, I'm just like, oh, my hair's so shiny. It is very conditioning and it is very smoothing and it is very like, very smoothing. So like I have got mostly straight hair. It's not completely straight though. And it's very frizzy. Um, like when I get out of the shower, if I just let my hair air dry, like you've seen my videos, ladies, like it's not always like smooth and you know, like this, a lot of times it's like, you know, but that's just how my hair is like, because it's not, you know, completely straight and it's very frizzy looking. This helps to kind of tone that down a little bit, but not, not like a ton where people like, I will notice it because I'm used to my crazy, you know, frizzy hair. This does tone that down quite a bit. So, and as far as the toning aspect, um, I don't know, like, again, I feel like the shampoo is the way to go for toning. Um, this deposits a little bit of pigment, but because it's so slippery, it's like how much of that is really going to stick to your hair, you know? So anyway, that's, and I'm, I'm not a hair guru lady, so get off my back. Don't be coming at me in the comments with all this stuff, um, but, I don't know. I feel like if you want this just for the glossing aspect, then you're probably good. And I've used the, the clear gloss of this and really liked that. Um, and so I feel like if you're looking for a purple toning product, I think a shampoo is probably the better way to go. And then if you want a glossing product, this one that's in the clear shade, probably the way to go. So that's that. Okay. Now here's a couple other products that I have for hair. Now, uh, this is the Garnier Fructis, Fructis? Okay, Fructis, I don't know, Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum with Argan Oil, and it's for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. Instant, sleek, proven strength system, okay? This is okay, this is just basically like a silicone, honestly. So that's what it feels like, yeah. Um, dimethicanol. Yeah, so I feel like this is just like a sort of a silicone gel uh, or cream, like, it's not a gel, it's not sticky or stiff or anything. Like you just put some of it and I've, I, as you can tell, like I've used a lot of it. It's very good for detangling. So like if you have, especially on uh, little girls, if you have girls that have longer hair and like it's constantly being tangly and whatever, if you um, 
put this on their hair to like smooth it out but it's not much different than a leave-in conditioner or just a conditioner in general it's just basically a silicone it does make your hair like um less tangly but it's not like remarkably shine enhancing um i don't i never i kept waiting for it to be like you know very shiny and like the frizz to be gone and so we're talking about i would use this on wet hair right after the shower which you can do either way i think and then um you know let it air dry and i'm like all right it's gonna be no no frizz no frizz at all still had a ton of frizz so um you know it, it's gonna help to smooth everything down if you're using a hot tool or whatever and it is is detangling but i wouldn't say it's remarkably like sleekifying you know what i'm saying like it just doesn't doesn't like automatically make your hair sleek no flyaways no frizz nothing so i don't know um it just says anti-frizz serum and I, I don't know i just feel like it's it is in the in the sense that just like any other very deep conditioning or conditioner leave-in conditioner is that way is this that way so that's that um all right and this is the garnier fructi style brilliant shine glossing spray high shine finish yes very shiny this is also very good for detangling so if you have like little daughters and they have like all this hair and you're trying to detangle it this is like great to put in your purse so like if you ever have to brush through their hair instant detangling it is very shiny but like on hair like mine it if you spray this on dry hair your hair is just gonna look greasy um it's not cute i mean it's shiny but it's shiny because it looks like gr very greasy i just don't like the way any shine spray not just this one but any shine spray usually doesn't work well for me now on my little daughters because they have um coarser hair than i do and thicker hair this looks very beautiful it just does look very shiny and pretty um and it is very good at detangling as well so if you have fine thin hair don't overdo it with a product like this i've used this several times like just to detangle on wet hair and that works really well and it'll still be a little bit shiny but it'll be less greasy looking if you use it on wet hair especially if you're going to do a sleek look like i do a lot of ponytail you know just sleek looks just because it's easy for me and also i'll do a lot of like twisted like kind of updo ish but on wet hair so that it's not it's not going to be like you know very volumized or curly or whatever it's just a sleek type of hairstyle but this does add shine if you use it sparingly it adds shine regardless but i would suggest using it sparingly if you have thin fine hair okay last one is my favorite product that i've discovered recently this is the aussie miracle curls curl defining oil with coconut and australian jojoba oil this is so nice now it's kind of a you have to kind of learn how to use it or at least i did if you have very coarse hair and you and uh, you're looking for something for curls you're probably gonna like this it's a very sticky product i don't know that i would no this is this is a lot this is more um silicone than it is anything else but it's very very sticky so it's a similar product to something like this but it's slick um stickier and it's more smoothing so if i get out of the shower and i just wash my hair with just a shampoo and then i use this on wet hair and i'm talking about like a dime size amount the pump if you pump the pump all the way down gives you a quarter size amount that's too much for my hair um it would work great for very dry and coarse hair that much but i need a smaller amount because i got thin fine hair okay um if i put this on wet hair um it will smooth it like it does what i wanted this to do which is less frizz less flyaways and then if you're going to straighten your hair smooth like butter like it's just so and then if you also like but if you do your hair and you find that like towards the end of the day like these ends are getting sort of tangly and crusty and it's just about then you want to use this in the morning put a tiny bit in your palm rub your hands together and just kind of scrunch the ends keeps you from being tangled all day long my girls really like this too for just taming flyaways and like also detangling as well so i use this a lot for both of them but i've loved i have been loving using just like a dime size amount of this on wet hair so i don't even have to use a conditioner in the shower i could just come out and put this in my wet hair and it's just so smooth and so sleek and so nice so great product there all right so that's all i got for you guys today for hair products let me know in the comments if you guys want to hear more about what I do for my hair. It's not much. What you just saw today, that's what I do. So thank you guys so much. Leave any questions, comments, whatever in the comment section. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.